guys. Hi. So we'll begin. So space exploration, if you guys know, has been a target of humans ever since humans existed. Through thousands of years of civilization and human living, uh, human living, people have targeted space for science, for exploration, because in fact, space is unlimited. Space is limitless, is infinite. Uh, but it's state fiction. There was one hurdle in the face of humans is that going to space wasn't a po an option. People couldn't go up to space. There wasn't the technology for thousands of years before even recorded history. No one went up for s to space. Even in the 20th century, in recent times, in uh, 1959, the Soviets made a fiction movie, big branded fiction movie about a man going to space. And that was 1959, that wasn't too far ago. But that movie blew up. Everyone noticed that, wait, we haven't sent someone to space. And that ignited a mission. In 1961, which was two years later, Yuri Gagarin came in, went up to space in the Vostok one, became the first person to break the hurdle of going to space. The hurdle was broken, the curse was broken, people made it up to space. He went into orbit 108 minutes and that was it. Next up, people didn't stop. Uh, of course, humans are an intelligent species. Of course, everyone has heard of Elon Musk, and everyone has heard of SpaceX, and everyone has heard of the International Space Station. If you check social media today, you're going to find a post that's most likely Elon Musk talking about his plans to go to Mars. See, Elon Musk's SpaceX has created this rocket. Well, it's not really created. It's designed and it's in building. This is the BFR. The BFR is by far the largest, the biggest, and the strongest rocket ever made by humans. It's, no long, it's not actually produced, but it is in production. And the BFR's first goal is to go to the moon. The moon is normal. We've been to the moon before from 1969 to, 19 to the mid-1970s. It's not, not a new place for us to go to, but why are we going back there? Why is this rocket, why is this rocket being sent to the moon right now? See, the moon is rich of ice, and ice means water, and water means oxygen and hydrogen. One very common space rocket propellant is liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. When we join both the chemical substances, we create thrust, and thrust skyrockets rockets out of Earth. And that's what we're going to do with the BFR. See, the BFR's main goal now is to go back to the moon, where we were over 50 years ago. The moon from there, why, why are we choosing the moon? That's an important question. See, the moon has much less gravity than Earth. To carry a, a rocket out of the moon requires much less thrust, much less power, much less humans, and much less money. Money is an important factor, of course, since now space is a business and everyone wants to make money. Next up, why are we going to, the mo uh, to Mars? That's an important question that we have. We're going to Mars because it's the goal of humans. See, we are an, an intelligent species, okay? We can do things that are unbelievable. Throughout the last 100 years, we grew up in technology more than we've ever been. We went to a new, uh, we went to the moon, which is a, a thing that orbits Earth. We made rockets, we made an international space station. The Mars, Mars right now, going to Mars right now is somewhat fiction because we don't have the things to go there. People are working towards it, but it is still fiction. And now it's our goal to make it non-fiction because Whatever is fiction on humans had sh uh, human hands should no longer be fiction. Thank you.